how should we select these drivers for our speaker system so there are three factors to be taken care of while selecting speakers first and second is normally most of the people must be doing so the third one that's the most important thing the important factor that to be noticed while selecting speakers selecting drivers for speakers consider if we are making a four rooms or eight rooms speaker system take an example as four rooms so this is a four rooms speaker at a maximum of 16 watts so while we select a mid-range driver then we normally used to select four rooms mid-range driver also while we select a tutor we usually select forums forums tutor for a forum speaker system that's most commonly most of us must be doing most of the people are doing so but there is one more factor that's well that's also most important while we select the crossover if it's a three-way speaker system then there is no way you must select a specified crossover if the speaker system is forums then you must select a forums crossover or else if it's eight terms then select the eight terms crossover then the second one that is the watts if the speaker system is of uh, of 50 watts then how can we select the separate drivers to make it 50 watts if you are using this woofer for base driver and this tweeter for high frequency and you are making a two-way box for about 50 watts at forums so both of these are forums then how to select the watts if the amplifier is 50 watts then then select a woofer that is 40 to 45 maximum 45 or 40 watts and select the tutor at 10 to 15 watts if you are selecting a 40 watts woofer then select the tweeter at 10 watts if you are selecting the woofer at 35 watts then select the tweeter at 15 watts if you are selecting the woofer at 45 watts then select the tweeter at 5 watts that's the way to set to match the watts and next the main issue that's the that's the most important thing that to be noticed while selecting the speakers selecting the drivers for your speaker system and that's not a dangerous issue you can experience a type of sounds uh, maybe high or maybe low or maybe mid S any of those frequency must be must be boosted must be you can experience that frequency more than the other frequencies how that matters is because of the sensitivity if the sensitivity doesn't match each other like if this is a two-way speaker system and the sensitivity of this woofer is maybe 90 db or 88 db and the sensitivity of the tweeter is 100 on 100 db or above 100 db then you, you can experience a high frequency boost while you play music or while you hear a sound from this speaker system because that's not because of the settings of the amplifier or because of your the problem with the crossover that's because of the sensitivity of each drivers that you select the tweeter that is performing at 100 db will reach your ears uh, at one meter you can you can you can imagine at one meter at this position the high frequency from the tweeter will reach your ears more faster or before or at more loudness than the uh, frequency from the driver from the base or the other driver that's just i am telling as an example that cannot be measured by any i can i think there, there is no machines or there is no calculation that can measure how, which frequency or what type of sound you are experiencing first as per my recommendation as per my understanding all the frequency all the frequency maybe if you are playing a uh, music then the high frequency and low frequency must uh, reach you equally if a punch or a bass with a trouble is this produced from the speaker system then it must reach equally not like this or not like this it should be flat so if the db sensitivity of the tutor is heavy higher than the sensitivity of the your bass driver then 
you must reduce that sensitivity by using some resistors or certain circuits inside the box as you are, while you are connecting the crossover to the tweeter that's the way to match the sensitivity with that driver if you are using a if you are building a three-way speaker system then the sensitivity of the driver base driver must be i can uh, as an example i can say 88 db or 90 db if you are using a good quality speaker then it must be imagine this speaker this woofer as 90 db woofer at four rooms or or as per the what's required then the mid-range driver must be equal or around that db around means not on, not very much higher or not very much lower try to match the mid-range driver with the base driver that's the best way that i can explain and you will never get any tweeter that is that must be playing below 90 db i think i have never seen or i have never experienced such a tweeter so you can just reduce output level of the tweeter using a resistor in the crossover that's the only way to match the db for match the db with the other drivers that's the way you should select any drivers as many drivers for your speaker system that's one of the best way to select that's why we usually recommend you must select uh, select the drivers for a speaker system from the same brand at same watts at same ohms at same db so that's one of the one of the best way that i experienced that i have learned by my own experience while selecting the drivers for making best speaker system you can use that technique that's the same example for tower speakers floor standards or as many speakers that your home theater has if it is a 5.1 speaker system then you must select the five channels at same db same db at same ohms at specified watts the ohms must be matched the sensitivity must be matched the watts can vary across a little bit but the other two must be matched if you didn't match the speaker sensitivity or ohms then you can you cannot experience that perfect balance perfect image from your speaker system perfect imaging the imaging should be at your at here if you are if you are if you have positioned the all the speakers to you then the imaging must be here with the visual if you are uh, watching a movie then with the, the imaging must be with the visual at here it should be here that's the way it can experience you can experience it but if any of those factors are not matched then you cannot and um, you cannot experience that image the image must be somewhere here somewhere here or you cannot experience that you can just hear a sound from your system that's the problem that may occur so i think that must be a useful tip for you so if you feel like there is a useful information in this video then please hit the like button subscribe to watch more of my videos thanks for watching